Hi everyone, this is Lori from The Crafting Auntie. Welcome back to my channel. First off, I just would like to thank all the new subscribers that have subscribed to my channel. I appreciate that very much. And we are continuing on with December Daily 2023. And today is for December 7th and 8th. So first we're going to do December 7th, which is Use a Coin Envelope. So for that, I thought I would just make one. So let's check off December 7th. And let me move my journal aside. And here's what I have. So I have put some things together to make it a little easier and quicker. And so I wanted to use a piece of this doily coffee dyed paper that I had received that I purchased from Pink Willow. I can't remember the whole full name. Anyway, she does amazing. It's beautiful paper. I used this on one of the other projects. So today I thought I would make a coin envelope out of it. So I'm just going to go ahead and get going. So I'm going to fold this, and I've already kind of looked on my page to see how large I want it, so I think, and I have these little kids that I want to put on here, so I think that's a good size. So I'm just going to crease that on both sides, make sure I got it even, and let me grab my bone folder. Do that and then I'm going to flip up the bottom just a little bit try to make this even and then I'm going to fold this over the top and that will be the flap the top flap of our coin envelope then I'm going to open it back up and we're going to cut away some of the pieces so down here in this corner, it's kind of hard to see, but where this is folded up, I'm going to cut away this piece right here. And I'm going to cut this on a little angle and then straight across the bottom. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And cut away this. All right, and then for the top, I want to just cut away these two flaps right here at the top. So I am just going to cut those away and also straight up. So I'm going to just take this little section out and actually I'm just going to cut just a little bit of an angle here to make it a little easier to get something inside and out of the pocket. And the same thing here, I'm going to cut straight down and then just a tiny bit of an angle and cut this off. Okay, so now we need to just glue this together. So I'm going to make sure everything looks good. Perfect. I think I'm going to round these corners. So let me see. Which one do I want? I want the other side. So we'll round the corner here. Oh, that's an angle. Oh, that's okay. Let's do the angle instead. I grabbed the wrong one. That's okay. That works. Okay. Now, let's glue this together. So I'm going to put some glue right on the edge here and right on the edge here. And I want the bottom flap to be on the outside. So close that up. Make sure it's still open. Yep. And then I'm going to put some glue here on the bottom and close that up. 
So now we have our coin envelope. And I think what I'm going to do is put it on the page this way so that we can access it. So let's get some little decorations here and let's decorate our envelope. So I'm going to use just some vintage photo. So I want to put these kids on here. So let me go around this. Get all the inking done. Brings out the, the picture so much more when you add just a little bit of ink around to all the edges. So I have that. And then I have a couple more things. So I was kind of thinking maybe something like this. I think that would be adorable. So let me go ahead and ink these edges. And then when I put it on the page, I've decided that I want to make a pocket on the outside as well. So kind of like a tuck spot. So let's go ahead and do this. And now we can glue everything down. So I want this to kind of peek out. So I think right about there. So we'll add the glue. Put this on right about there. Now I can add my kids. These are kids from my porch prints, cottage, Christmas cottage kids, I believe is what it is. And they are all adorable. So let me put this on so I can see the sentiment. Spread kindness and love wherever you go. And then we'll add this poinsettia. It's like a holly poinsettia. And let's see. I think, I think maybe right about there. Okay. So, I don't think I'm going to be putting a closure on this. I want to be able to put something in. So, this is finished. And let me get my page that I've picked out. And what I've already done is added some paper to this. So I'm thinking that this will look really cute right here. Maybe I will put a closure on. Hmm. Let's think about that for a second. Well, I can always add it afterwards. So I think what I want to do is I want to make a tuck spot this way, I think. And then actually with this open, I could put a tag or something on the inside. So let's put this aside and let's work on these. So I've picked out a couple of things. Picked out this tag that I thought would look really cute. And I also picked out this journaling card. So I thought this would go in this way. So let's go ahead and ink these up. Inking all the edges. I've also got a piece of coffee dye paper. So I'm going to back this on here. Oops. I'm going to back this here so we have the coffee dye paper on the back and then this will be here. So that's, that's kind of the plan. And let me go ahead and ink this one. These digitals are from, I believe, Angela Kerr. She's got some gorgeous digitals. OK, 
Okay, so now we can go ahead and glue these on. So I'm going to glue this on here first, and then I'm going to cut the tag shape out of this red portion of the uh, card that I'm putting as a border for the tag. I'm going to do the same thing on the journaling card as well. So, line this up. Make sure I got it even all the way around. And then I'll just uh, glue on the tea dye paper on the back. So that way it can be journaled on. And it doesn't have the stark white. That's what I wanted to avoid. So, I'll put this on. And I can always trim anything that might be sticking out. So, I've got a little bit. So, we'll trim this a little bit here. And down here, and a little bit here. And then I'll go ahead and trim my corners, like so, into the tag shape, just like that. Now we can ink the whole thing again. And the back. Okay. So we've got that one. Now let's go ahead and do this one. So we're going to do the same thing. Glue this on with the border. And put this on. Try to get it as even as I can. And then also glue down the tea dye. And then I'll go ahead and trim that as well. there, a little bit there, and just a tiny bit here. Okay, now I can ink up the edges again. And the back. Okay, so now we've got our tag and our journaling card. So now let's see how we want to do this. So let's see if I put this here. That will peek out the top. I like that. And I'll add a ribbon to that. And then this one we can tuck in here. But I think I want to put a tab on that. So, let's see here. What do we have? Let's try and... I think I'll use this tab punch and I'm going to grab some paper. So I have my little basket here of all kinds of leftovers. And let's see. Let's see what we can find. That would be large enough. Punch. That's kind of cute. I think I kind of like that. So I'm going to just fold this and use this punch. And cut my tab. And then we can add this to the top of this. 
So let me ink this. Both sides. And then we'll apply the glue and add the tap. Center this as best I can, and that way, once this is glued down, this will be easy to pull in and pull out. And then I want to add a ribbon on here, and I want to add an eyelet and a ribbon on here. So let's go ahead and glue this down on these three sides. So let's see, I think I'm going to leave that, okay, and get that centered on here. Just like that. And now this should go in here nicely. Yes. Okay. So just let that dry a little bit. And let's now work on the eyelet. So let's get an eyelet. So I have my box right over here. So Let's find a couple eyelets for this. Not sure what color I want. Um, let's see. Maybe this. I think the bronzy color, I think, or brass, like a vintage brass color would look good. So one for here and one for there. A couple of those. Dial and make our hole at the top of the tag like about so and also I'm going to do it right in the center of the tab. Now these eyelets are just a little bit big so I just have to open the hole carefully with a pencil so that they fit in easier. in, cinch it down. So we've got that, and where's our second, there it is, hiding. And we'll put this one into the top of the tag, and get this one cinched down as well. Okay. And then I want to use some of this gingham ribbon. So I'm going to cut a couple pieces. There's one, two, and we'll thread these through and tie on, tie them on. Just going to tie them into a knot. Just like that. And then I'll cut these at an angle. So there's one. I'll put that inside there. And now this one. Again, I'm going to tie this into a knot and then just trim them down just like uh, that. I love how they look, especially when they're peeking out. So there's that and then to go along with what I've been doing, it took me a while, but I actually found a 7 cent stamp 
and it's uh, from 1979, it's seven cents. So just need to figure out where, maybe I just tuck it in right up here on the flap. Not sure I like that. Couldn't find one in the right color that I wanted, so we're just going to put this on and this will be for December 7th. And so let's glue this on, and then we've got December 7th finished, so we'll just put this right here so we can see the 7. So we have 7 cents for our December 7th page, and we have our tag, which needs no other decorating, it's perfect the way it is. And same with this one. I think the borders and the red just really make them pop out. So that is for December 7th. So now I'm going to just take a moment to clean up and grab the other stuff and we'll do December 8th. So I'll be right back. Okay, so let's start on December 8th. So for December 8th, we have use a junk mail envelope. Check that off. So I have this junk mail envelope, which is no window or anything. I don't plan on using a window this time. And I did trim it down a little bit so it would fit on this page. And I'm going to create it as a belly band. And then also I have an opening up here for a tag. So I have pulled out this digital. I want to say this one is uh, from Rach and Bella. I think. I'm pretty sure it's Rach and Bella. And so I wanted to cover it so that she is on the front. And I don't really need to worry about the back because I'm going to use it as a belly band. So let's see here. I think what I want to do is I want to just glue this on here and then trim it down. I think that's the easiest. I just need to make sure I have no white border. So I think if I just glue this on here and then trim it down, that should be perfect. So that's what I'm going to do. So we will put some glue here on all four sides. Make sure it's stuck good. And then I'll just put this to where I can trim it down. So I think right about there should work. So make sure that's stuck good. And then I can trim away the excess. So let's do that. trying to think of something simple to do on some of these projects so I don't keep you guys for too long watching videos. So I've tried to pre-prepare and figure out what it is that I'm trying to do on some of these to make it a little quicker. I appreciate you guys hanging in with me and hopefully you're giving some of this a try. Okay, even if you just use your own prompts or you don't use any prompts at all, just crafting along is always fun. Okay, so now we have her. And I think it'll go really well with this page. Yes. Alright, so let's go ahead and ink it up. And again, this is such a beautiful digital that other than maybe I might add some lace, it doesn't need a whole lot of embellishing at all. It's just gorgeous. So let's ink it up, bring her out a little bit. Oh, she just pops now. Isn't she gorgeous? She's just beautiful. Okay, so let's work on what we're putting, whoops, what we're putting inside and out the side. So I had done some collaging, and so I cut a piece. This is just out of a Medicare book. I watched 
Gail Agostinelli a lot, and I love the fact that she repurposes her Medicare book, and I had this one for 2020, and I thought, well, what perfect idea to collage in it for projects. So that's exactly what I did. So I'm going to ink this up, and I'm trying to decide. I think I may want to stitch on this. So I may just go ahead and do that. So let's ink it up, and then, do I want it on here? Yes, I want it on here, and then I'll stitch around it. Yep, that's what I want to do. Okay, so let's glue this down. Okay. And line this up and get this put down. Try to make it even. Okay. And then I am going to go ahead and cut the edges and I'm going to trim a little bit more off the top. So it's just a tiny border. I don't want a whole lot of a border. Okay. So now I've got that, get rid of my scraps, and so I am going to go ahead and go and stitch around this, and then I'll be right back. Okay, I have done the stitching. I just used a red thread, just went around the whole thing, leaving a little bit of the tails at the top. And then I have this little guy, he's again from my porch prints, from the Cottage Kids, Christmas Cottage Kids. I also have this white poinsettia, and I have a label that I believe is from Angela Kerr. And so I'm thinking I want to do something like that. So we'll ink these up. Also want to put a uh, eyelet and also some more of the gingham ribbon so kind of becomes uniform in this journal now I decided that this is going to go on as a belly band the envelope so I also pulled out an envelope So let's put these on. So I don't want the sentiment to be hidden. So I'll put him about there. I glue him completely down, then I'll position the label. So I think right about there. And then we can put him down. That looks cute. So many kids out there with these adorable children, it's hard to resist them. Got the ones from Angela Kerr, from Rachel and Bella, and these from my porch prints, and they're just adorable. Okay, so here is tag so far, and I'm gonna go ahead and put an eyelet. I think I'm gonna. Oh, come on, Lori. Get the needle in, or the pin in there. Oops. So I think I'm going to go with the same color. So this vintage bronzy color. And using the large setting again. Right at the top. Make the hole just a little bit bigger. So 
these will fit in. And we'll get that cinch down. Perfect. And now a piece of the ribbon. I love this gingham ribbon. I am absolutely loving gingham ribbon this year. I've always liked it. But this year I just really feel like using quite a bit of it, especially in this journal. Kind of uniform. Tie that into a knot. And we will snip the edges at an angle. So now we have that. So that's going to slip in here perfectly and I wanted it to stick out. So that will go on here and it'll stick out the top. I want to make sure I got this down all the way. Yes I do. Okay, so that's going to go there. So we will have that. So after I glue that down I wanted something to go underneath it. So I also have this envelope. I also have my date my day stamp. So the first thing I want to do is fold the sides and these have it to where you can see where to actually fold so that and then we fold it up and there's a line across the bottom here as well I just want to match up the sides like that now I don't want this to be white here, so I have one of my Tim Holtz stencils, which is just the coffee, coffee stain one. So I'm going to go ahead and use my brush and my vintage photo, and I'm going to do some stenciling on here so it's not just white. Do some of this here, trying to get the areas of what would be showing. So perfect. So do some more here. You could also have printed this on double sided, so you had a print on the other side. These I had, I hadn't printed them double sided, so stenciling works just as good. And then I'll go around the edges. And around these edges that will be folded. And I'll do front and back. And let's see, I'm going to fold this down to where it's going to be. So we'll just finish inking it all around the edges. And all the folds. I like doing this ahead of time because you can't always get to it after it's put together on some of the areas. So do all the inking that you want to before you glue it down. Then you can always touch it up. Okay, I think I, think I have it all. And then I can finish up after it's glued down. Okay, so we're just going to put the glue here on both sides. Here and here. And then fold it up. Like so. And then now we've got our envelope. I'll do a little bit more inking. love the look of it once it's got the ink on it. it just really makes everything 
come out. Okay, I think we have it. I don't have anything to go into this, but I'm just going to leave it open for now. And let's go ahead and glue down our junk mail envelope as a belly band. So we'll just put glue at the top here and the bottom. And then I want to center it as best I can on the page. So, I'm going to hold this down for a little bit to make sure that it seals good before you put anything underneath it. So, let's see. So we can put our tag inside. And that will stick out the top of the journal, so it'll look, let's see. Okay, I think I, what I want to do also is ink the back side. And I think I will go ahead and do some of the stenciling as well. So it's not just stark white. Let's go ahead and do that. Especially at the very top where it's going to be seen, we'll add the stenciling. I think I want to add some of this guy with that. And up here. Much better. Now we got something better to look at than just a stark white backing of the tag. Let's see, a little bit more. And you can still journal on this. Okay, I think that is good. So now we've got something else to look at. So now we can put this in. There. Make sure this is secured down good. And then we can tuck our envelope right in here like that and then I have a stamp so I have an 8 cent stamp for December 8th and I think I'm gonna put it right down here in this little area so let's ink it this is from the US where I'm from and no, there's a hair. No, there's no year on it. Okay, so we'll put this on, and that will be for December 8th. Right there. So there we have our page. She's adorable. We have our tag that we put together decorated, stitched, did some coffee staining on it on the back with a vintage photo. And that will pop out the top of the journal, just like that. And then I just wanted to go back and show a couple things that I did in here after I've done the days, because a lot of times I'm spending a lot of time on just trying to get the days done and not thinking about adding additional things. So I just want to share that I've done some lace. So here's some rickrack that I added onto this page. And then this is pretty much the same. This one is the same. We did some lace here. But I did go back and I added some lace here on this edge. So I added lace and then I added small rickrack onto it. 
And I didn't do anything different here. Get my charms down a little bit. But I did add some lace and the Rick Rack here. And didn't really do anything there, but I did add this. I also added a couple of poinsettias and I added a couple tabs. So you could lift these up a lot easier. So I thought that kind of finished it off. And this was for December 5th. So I did that. Didn't do anything additional here. And then this is our project for today. So December 7th, we made this coin envelope. And I'm leaving the flap open. It can be closed if I decide somewhere down the line. But I've got the date here, which is the 7th. So I found a stamp with seven on it. We did this tag and the only thing I did do is I went back and I did some stitching around it. Since I had my sewing machine going I went ahead and stitched around this and I didn't go across the top because of the the eyelet. If I had thought about it I would have done it beforehand. So we did that which goes in here it pops out the top and then we also made this journaling card and we backed it with the tea dye paper and that goes underneath the coin envelope and then we made and decorated the coin envelope so that was for the seventh and then on this one the eighth this is where we covered a, a uh, junk mail envelope and I covered it with this paper made this tag from a collage that I had already done decorated it, stitched on it, did some stenciling and that goes into the pocket here. We made this into a belly band and we added this envelope which you can tuck some goodies into the inside. And then I had a stamp for the 8th. So it's December 8th. So that's it for today guys. Hope you'll join me on the next video which we will be, I'll be sharing what I do on the 9th which is a Saturday and then together we will do the 10th and 11th and that video will come out on uh, following Monday after this one. So you guys have a great weekend, enjoy yourself and I'll see you next time around and thank you for joining me and again thank you for all the new subscribers and just enjoy sharing these with you guys. So have a great day, bye.